Come on. Why I gotta do everything? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> 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 Oh man, see you won't let me stab the motherfuckers, man. At least smack his ass. That's alright, I gutted his ass. Damn! <laughs> Hit that little face for unlimited juice. Yeah, they gone. Ooh, they got electrocuted. Got caught by the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, bruh. What do you do, YouTube? It is your boy Boo Duca back in the building. Bringing you another upload, and this one here is of some Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game. And I hope y'all enjoy the little clips in the beginning. You know, because those were kind of funny if you ask me, but I hope y'all enjoyed it. But. Let's just uh, go on and hop right into the topic of the video. And that is, this game is in trouble in a few ways, in my opinion. So just hit me out. I hope y'all enjoy the game play. Um, I can't remember what happened in this match. I believe I got away, but I know I got another game play after that of a sweaty leather face who was just chasing me, man, and... I was giving him the flux, and he wasn't digging it. So, like I said, hope y'all enjoy the gameplay, man. But anywho, one thing that I haven't been hearing on social media, people talking about is Leatherface. And is it just me, or is he too fast and too OP? Like, he can one-tap you with full health. If you don't have certain perks, you can be a half a block ahead of him and he'll run you down with a chainsaw above his head. But people seem to think that's cool. They don't seem to think that that's overpower. Even though on Friday the 13th, Jason couldn't one hit nobody with full health. And he had to go against seven people. Bubba only has to go against four. And he has two accomplices with him. Two family members, so... In my opinion, man, in the next update after they finally nerf Sissy, in the next update, they got to nerf Bubba, Leatherface. You either got to give, you know, he can't be too fast. He can't be too fast and too powerful. You got to balance that out. Like, let him be too fast, but he can't one-tap you. Uh, or he could one tap you, but he can't be too fast. You know, you gotta balance that shit out, man. Cause the family members, in my opinion, are all way too fast, and I got endurance juiced up on all my characters and the perks, whatever. And it does nothing. It does nothing. But the nerfing Connie and Leland's ability, making the timers even longer. Increasing the time on it, I believe. And, and if so, then if they're going to do that, then they have to nerf the cook because he's fucking annoying. All you hear is that little creepy, freaky Jason laugh of his just beaming you from across the map. He gets the most points in a match, and he don't even do nothing. He just sits there. Put up a couple of locks and just ping you from across the map. And it's way too often. Like, if y'all going to do the shit, do the right. Because that's way too fast. His ability it is, is way, it's way too fast as far as the, the time buildup. I can't 
think of the right words right now because I was, it's, light, it's late as hell. It's like 5 in the morning. I just wanted to make this video and get it out the way. And, yeah, I just feel like that's the case on that, man. Like, the cook is annoying. His ability needs to be nerfed as well. If y'all going to nerf Leland and Connie, you got to nerf the cook. You got to. You need to nerf all the family members' endurance or something. And then you see these crazy son of a bitches got a bug on here. Like, people can't even play straight up no more on games. It's so sad. They do anything to get one little edge over on you, man. And that's the little Johnny glitch where he's constantly swinging but running faster. And how is that even possible? When the family members lose stamina every time they swing. I know he might have a perk or something to kind of help that, but damn. He's constantly, all you hear him is swinging at air. You hear him the knife cutting the air and he, he, he grunting. And then next thing you know, he's cutting you and you don't even see him. You don't even see him. But you're getting cut. And that's what all the family members like. The latency, I don't know what it is, but it's just not right. And when I see or hear see Johnny doing that move, for some reason it reminds me of the dude in the bathroom <laughs> scene on Mission Impossible where he just like punching towards the air. It, I swear that's what it reminds me of when I think about Johnny doing that, people doing that with Johnny. It's just crazy some of the things, the things people do to get ahead. And this game, it was fun. It's still kind of fun to sort of, you have to sit on here and play though in order to find them lobbies. But majority of the time it's super sweats, full parties of families, and they just uh, the play style is terrible now and majority of the time I feel like I'm playing battlefield again where my teammates be terrible majority of the time. Two people dead before I can even get out the fucking basement. So now the killers only gotta worry about two people. And then the, the family members, all they do is camp now. They just straight camping upstairs. All the exits. Like, come on, man. How is that funny? Y'all supposed to be killers, man. Like I said, man, social media ruined this game. Everybody knows, like, the second, third day of release of the game, it was flooded with cheaters. Like, that's why I've been saying for the last year or so that I'm done with these online games because of them reasons. This game should have never been released. It should have been pushed to next year for the simple fact it's still bugs in the game that they need to address immediately. I mean, And to their credit, they are. Kudos to them for doing that. But it's still other things that I haven't been hearing about that needs to be done it's still buggy still crashing servers still crashing the game crashing it's just man it should have released with more content <laughs> like three maps these dudes knew the maps within like two or three days it was over with two or three days it was over with the fun was over like the straight up Every lobby, fun type, it was over with. Day three, totally, it was over with. And it's just crazy. You got all these dudes ex exploiting shit on YouTube. Uh, best sissy OP build, best hitchhiker OP. Like, come on, man. Y'all ruined the game. I know y'all trying to make money on y'all channels, but y'all can go about it a better way, bro, than exploiting the game. Like, for real, for real, bro. Everybody know what to do before they even get the game. Best builds and all this best hiding spots and all this shit. Best escape routes. Whatever the fuck. It's crazy, man. That y'all be doing that to these games, bro. Like, I don't get it, man. And not everybody's playing the same. If it wasn't social social media these games would be the longevity in these games would be so much longer than they are and that's sad man because 
you got a lot of decent games out here, but with the way people play now because of social media and all the little extra assistance that a lot of people are getting now when it comes to gameplay, you know, it's just, it's crazy. And the game is fun. I like the game. I'm like rank 50 something in the game. This is mainly all I play now. I really play my shooters now. I'm really, you know, leaning away from them because they ain't nothing but stress, especially for a solo player like myself. But here's the clip right here where I had sweaty uh, leather face on me for a minute. Then I got away and then he was back on me. So enjoy this clip as well. But yeah, that's just the way I feel, man. Like, am I alone? Do, you know, any of y'all feel the same way? Like, let me know down in the comments below. You know, I reply back and we can chop it up and, you know, put our differences out there, whatever, whatever we agree on. It's just, uh, I hate it, man, because the game got so much potential. It's, it's fun, it's addictive, I'm not going to lie. Can't stop playing it. Can't stop playing it. But it needs more content. And another reason why I say the game is in trouble, not just content, because I know they're going to do the one map, one victim, family member bullshit, and they're going to drip feed us content for the rest of the life cycle of this game. But in my opinion, they don't have enough time to do that for the simple fact that there's a ton of new games that's going to come out that people are going to go play and lead this in dust. And I can't think of all the games, but a few right off the bat, I can think of uh, Mortal Kombat 1, which is a dope game. I'm definitely getting that game. Uh, you got 2K that just released. You got uh, that Baldur's Gate game that just came out recently and then you got a uh, payday three finna come out and spider-man and hot wheels all these games is people are going to go to because this is going to get this game is already stale people are just playing it now because it really ain't shit else to play new you know but once them games start releasing the player base is going to dwindle <laughs> For real, it's going to dwindle. And now I really don't want to see that because the game, the game is fun. Like I said, in my opinion, they should have held back on, on, on releasing the game and just waited till the next year. It could, it would have just had to compete with killer clowns from outer space. Now, I still would have bought both of them regardless. But yeah, with the three maps and, you know what I'm saying, it's just, it's not enough, man. Like I say, it's already, it's been stale for a minute, but people still holding on, waiting for updates and waiting to hear for whenever they release new content for the game. I don't want to see the game die off, you know what I'm saying? But it needs more content. That's the main thing that's going to hold this game back. Once they settle out all the bugs and um, turn the crossplay back on with PC players and all that, it'll be cool. That's cool. But it needs content, man. It needs maps. It needs maps. Bad. Bad. Like I say, once the mother game starts dropping, people ain't going to play it. They ain't going to play this no more. Especially if they not putting content in the game. But you know, I really can't think of too much else I can think of to say about the game. That was just, you know, pretty much my opinions on why I think this game is in trouble. One, the bugs that I think they will eventually, you know, mesh out. 
Um, the cheaters, hopefully, they can get them toned down to a to a minimum to where we can finally start back playing with PC players. And um, competition. Now, they can help themselves by dropping more content, but they got to do it at a probably a, a more steady, steadier pace than they planned on. But like I said, when the other games come out, that's when the player base is going to drop. It's going to drop real bad. So hopefully they can, you know, try to stay ahead of the game and fix the game and balance it out and, you know, make it even on both sides. Because in my opinion right now, the family members have the, the edge. And I like playing victim. The family, playing family members is cool. But it's really, to me, more of a cat and mouse game playing a victim. It's a cat and mouse game as well, playing the other side, but I just prefer to play the victim. So, you know, like I said, I'm still going to be playing this game regardless. Probably not as much, and definitely not as much as when um, Spider-Man and Hot Wheels come out. It's really going to be over with for this game. I'm not touching Call of Duty, so definitely cool on that. <laughs> but you know, there's a couple other games that's coming out too. I just can't think of them. But like I said, it's got a lot of comp. And I hope the developers are ready for it. You know what I'm saying? I hope they're ready for it. Like I said, I don't want to see this game get lost in the storm due to all the other games out. As long as they keep doing what they're doing now, Staying, you know, productive with the game, the updates, and, you know, replying with the community or whatever, keeping us updated. I think the game will be fine. It's, it's still going to take a little L when new games release, but I think players will come back, especially if they start dropping more content at a steadier pace. And I think that's about it. But the game, man, like I say, it's fun, it's addictive. For the beat three maps, people play the shit out this game. It's a lot of high rank players in this game. Especially a lot of Xbox players because it's free on Game Pass. Well, I don't say free, but it's on Game Pass, so. See a lot of Xbox players, and what's crazy is that they said they play this more than they play Starfield. They said Starfield was boring. You know, I, kept, I met some dudes that kept it a buck and said they'd rather play this. So that's one up on Texas Chainsaw for that, I guess. But anywho, I'm finna get up out of here, man. I ain't talked y'all here off long enough. Be sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think, man. Hit that like button for your boy. I'm finna get up out of here, everybody. Be blessed and have a safe weekend. And one more thing I would like to add before I get up out of here. Again, you dig. Is the audio. The audio is super bugged. That definitely needs working on because I'm hearing footsteps. I'm thinking it's somebody around me when it ain't nobody around me. It sounds like they walking downstairs, but they right behind me. It's just crazy, man, y'all. Definitely need to, you know, Get that audio together, man. And now, with that being said, I think I have said everything that I can think of, in my opinion, that's wrong with the game and why it's in trouble. All right, that's it. It's about a minute or two left for the gameplay. Watch your boy get up out of here. And now I'm out of here.
shows over, motherfuckers.